Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the teas. Yesterday we began a series beginning with day number 101 where we began solving math problems that you will find in this new edition of T, the sixth edition. We have already finished solving all the math problems from the fifth edition that you see here. We have solved all the problems and if, you, if you're looking to find some more material for practice, it, does, it doesn't hurt to practice a little bit more, more than what is given in this book. So if you want to do some extra problems, you will find the solutions to all, these prob all the problems from this book, from, day, from, from, from fifth edition, from day number one through 80. Today is our second lesson, that one or two. There are no videos from day 81 through 100. I just skipped from, eight, from 80 to 101 yesterday and today is 102. Today we'll talk about how to convert. We are on page number 66. Please turn to page number 66. It's important. It is vital. It is crucial. It is absolutely essential that you have the book in front of you when you're working with me. You must purchase this book. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. You are going to need it. Turn to page number 66. On page 66, today we'll talk about how to convert percent to decimal. Let's take a look at it. See what we can do there if we are asked to convert percent to a decimal. Before we, before we do the problems that are, that are given in the book, let's take, let's take a look at a couple of simple examples so that we can understand the concept. For example, for example, everybody knows, everyone knows, we know that 50%, if we have 50% of something, what fraction do we have? Well, if you have 50% of something, we have, a, we have a half of something. 50% of anything is just half of the thing, which is same as when you write the half in decimal, it's simply 0.5. The question is, how do we go from here to here? How does one make a journey from percent to a decimal? That's what we want to learn here. How to convert from percent to a decimal? Let's find out, shall we? So we had a 50% and we want to get to 0.5. What we need to do here, what we need to do is take our 50 and divide by 100. Divide by 100. And when you divide when you divide a quantity by 100, had we had we had we divided this thing by 10, had we divided this thing by 10, we would have picked our decimal here. Decimal exists even though it's not there, but it's there. You, we can write. There is no reason why 50 cannot be written as there is, if somebody gives us a 50. If 50 is given to us, there is no reason why 50 cannot be expressed as 50.0. Of course, still 50. And you pick up pick up your decimal and move it to one spot if you were dividing by 10 which has one zero. Because we are dividing it by 100 which has two zeros, we need to pick our decimal and move it two spots. One, we moved it one spot and another spot. It ends up here. It ends up here. Therefore 50 divided by 100 is simply going to be 0.5 and that's how we get our 0.5 here. That's how we get our 0.5. 50 divided by 100 is 0.5. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's take a look. Let's, let's take a look at 25%. Well, what is 25% in terms of decimal? Well, if you want to convert 25% into decimal, we're going to have to do the same thing which we did before, which is we write our 25, but we're going to write it as point 25.0, point, point and we're going to have to divide that by 100. We're going to have to divide it by 100. And what happens when you divide 25 by 100? Well, same as, same as before. We take our 25. We're going to take our 25. We're going to introduce these decimals, and because we are dividing it by 100, because we are dividing it by 100, 100 has two zeros, 100 has two zeros, therefore we're going to pick our decimal and move the decimal to the left, two spots, one and two, voila, it ends up here. In other words, in other words, 25%, in other words, 25% when expressed as a 25% when expressed as a decimal, 25% when expressed as a decimal, it becomes 25% when expressed as a decimal, how do we, what, what do we have to do to express a given percentage into decimal? Well, you take your percentage, whatever it is, whatever percentage it is given to us, and you divide by 100. And by virtue of having divided it by 100, we need to move the decimal, we have to pick up our decimal, move it to the left, two spots. And when we do that, we found out that 25% boils down to 0.25. In other words, 25% when expressed in terms of decimal, it's 0.25. Let's, let's do the pro two problems that are given in the book now. The first one that is given to us, part C, is 
73.7 percent part C is 73.7 percent but nothing has changed nothing has changed it's still the same we're going to in order to convert for, convert 73.7 percent into decimal we're going to take our quantity that is given to us 73.7 divided by 100 we're going to take our quantity and we're going to divide by 100 and when we divide the quantity by 100 we have to take the decimal that is that exists wherever it is take the decimal and move it to the left three two spots not three spots two spots there are two zeros here so pick it up move it two spots one and two voila it ends up here in other words in other words 73.7 percent when expressed as a decimal is simply 0.737 0.737 but the convention dictates, but the convention dictates that we insert the leading zero. Always remember to put the leading zero. Point seven three seven. It's always a good idea to put a leading zero. This is this is what is known as the leading zero. Why do we do that? We, we insert the leading zero in, in front of the decimal so it's easy with the eyes to see that it is 0.37 so, the, so that we know just by visual inspection quickly we can see with our eyes that it is indeed 0 .3, 0 0.737 and not 737. Otherwise you might miss the decimal per person might not pick up on it if they're looking at it very quickly so to bring their attention to the fact that it is 0 .3, 737 and not 737 put a leading zero just to bring their attention to it it is called the leading zero and why do we do that as I said before it's just a convention it's just a tradition it's just a tradition if you were if we had left it as 0 .3, 0 0.737 it would not have been wrong it's still the same 0.737 is the same quantity as 0 0.737 it just it looks better it is just a tradition it's just a convention that will see. Let's do let's do D now. Let's do D. The D says 138%. 100 138%. Again, the same same concept, same logic, same rationale, same methodology, of course, nothing is going to change. Except now we have 138%. Let's see what we can do. So we're going to take out 138 that is given to us. Okay, we're going to take out 138 that's given to us and we're going to introduce a decimal. It's not there right now. Well, it's not there because it is there. It's there. It's at the end. Since at the end, it's not shown. So we're going to introduce it so that we can see it. There we go. And to convert it into, into decimal, we need, to, we need to take our quantity that's given to us, 138. To convert it into decimal, we need to divide by 100. And since we're dividing it by 100, since we are dividing it by 100, 100 has two zeros, 1 and 2. That means we are going to pick up our decimal, move two spots to the right, 1 and 2. It's going to end up here. In other words, 138 when divided by 100, in other words, 138 when divided by 100 is simply 1.38. In other words, in other words, 138% 138% when converted from percentage to a decimal it becomes 1.38 voila that's it tomorrow we'll do the next topic which is how to convert from fraction to decimal from from not from percentage to decimal but from fraction to decimal from fraction to decimal. This is going to be day number 103, as I said, the next video on day number 103. Oh, by the way, if you do want to practice, if you want to, if you want to practice more on these concepts, how to convert from decimal to percentage, from percentage to fraction, from fraction to decimal, from fraction to percentage, all back and forth between decimal, fraction, and percentage. Those three concepts from decimal, decimal, fraction, and percentage. You have to be able to go back and forth when you are back and forth. And if you want to get some more practice, there are many more problems that appeared in this, this, uh, this book here, the fifth edition. And if you're interested in, in learning 
uh, if you're interested in practicing more practicing some more problems if you're interested in improving your school uh, your your skill a little bit more you can watch these videos just type in t's day 16 day 17 and day 18 make sure you do the problems with me don't just sit there passively have a notebook ready have a pencil ready as i put the problem on the blackboard solve the problem with me that's the idea do you understand watch those three videos and do all the problems with me you will see that you will you will uh, notice a marked improvement in your ability to convert back and forth from decimal to percentage to fraction one more time day 16 day 17 day 18 just type in t's day 16 or t's day 17 so on and so forth the video will pop right up just search for it i'll see you tomorrow okay i know